Hello. Is this Max? Okay, whatever. I got it. Uh, this is called Main. Another talent dump, and I'm another New York chump trying to make it big, trying to see his name in lights, in whiteout I write, look at me in every blank spot in sight. Another strict official of the industry, a big important man with interest, see an interim secretary at the entrance, me in the middle of her list, a centerpiece, or an average numbered guest, uh, Lion, Leo. Lion? Like the animal. With an I or a Y? How does she spell the animal? Uh, he hears me out. I do my thing. A monologue I found at 2 a.m. on a monologuing blog, blah, blah. It's not too long. Uh, he said concise, politely. He said concise. I cut it down to size and didn't memorize it all. That's nice. And uh, age appropriate, he said. Hard to believe he cares when, as I do my thing, he stares down at a page. Sir, how do I engage with you? He asks a couple questions, just a misdirection to invest my time, so I'm invested even despite his blank reception. He seems interested. Where am I from? What do I do? Oh, uh, Brooklyn theater kid, so those are nothing new. He leans back, keenly aware of silence in the air, which I don't care for, but I'm worse for wear, I guess. Would you be willing for a job, he says, to cut your hair? Um, ooh, he touched a nerve. <laughs> The nerves in hair are dead, but they preserve a feeling in the head. I think that's something someone said, just in the roots, that's what I've heard. Uh, and just as hair is rooted in a scalp, the locks I bear are rooted in my mind, I think, but I don't say, lest I seem unprepared. A legend springs to mind, a tale I knew, about a man, pardon, about a Jew whose strength was in his hair. He could lift boulders in the olden days, that's what the oldest stories say, but then his hair was cut away and he was weak and frail. Okay, so not encouraging. <laughs> How cold he must have been. I mean, I know it was the Middle East and it gets hot, but don't those guys get drafts at least? Burr. A head chill after years of super might enough to curl any man's courage overnight. My thoughts concur, all right, not great. I tell him, sure. Um, and who am I to tell him no? Me, asking him for help, and all he wants to know is if the curls are good to go. Me here, performing for him like an animal, not just a speaker in a forum laid bare, like an animal in the Colosseum, while Caesar stares down at a resume like he can't see him and bides his thumb. A me doing the same trick once again, like an animal. L-I-O-N, ma'am, like the animal. Why do lions have manes? Well, theory would tell you not so long ago that they're a shield, thick coats laid to protect the neck and shoulders in a fight, to hide the lion's weakest spots from sight. Not right. The current thought is that they're grown to make the lion bigger, not to protect, but to intimidate, make an impression at the least, I figure. A fierce advantage, not a shield, a coat of arms, a coat, I'm sure, no doubt they're always warm. A mane is not just hair. A mane is every year and every day since you spent growing it since second grade, and every time someone asked you why you don't cut your hair, and every time someone made fun of it, and every time someone mistook you for a girl and you just said, that's fine, it's mine, and this is how I like it. And I remember how four years ago, the last time that I tried to play this game, a younger, shorter, rounder me with just as memorable a name had stood before another Caesar who surely soon forgot who soon forgot he'd told me, well, we'll see, and that he couldn't do a lot for kids like me because I had a special look, because my face was not ripped from a comic book, because, quote, the hair, the eye, you know, he's just very specific. <laughs> and, uh, and you can't fit specific in a box, and you can't put specific on a box of cereal. <laughs> and I was not surprised four years ago that I was not their type, that I was not the typecast type, that I was not the hyper handsome cereal box and backseat quirky zinger slinging future teen hit singing short haired perfect type. Um, it was the weird kids who ended up performing, I think. The kids who stood out in a crowd, the kids who got a little bit too loud to stay off stage, maybe were just the ones who at a certain age couldn't afford to feel self-conscious anymore. Or maybe we just wish the hardest to be someone else, just for a day, just for an hour, for some sweet escape and transformation, or maybe it's something else, and I don't care, because as long as I'm the weird kid with hair that's long enough to play that part, with hair that gives me superpowers Samson would be proud of, art is real to me. That's all I know. We'll be in touch.
the agent says. And uh, in my head, under my nervous curling locks, as I depart that office-shaped apartment and I descend into the heart of New York City, I hope I am not asked again. My will is strong, but if it is implied to me that just like that, I could succeed the way that someone of their type would, I hear back, not their type, good.